There are voices that are oftentimes uh, raised uh, in opposition to these jihadists yes. and to these extreme acts. But guess what? They don't get covered. They don't get exposed. And they're not given the same, well, level, they don't, of one the same level of platform um, that we see the jihadists One reason in. they don't get exposed is because they're afraid to speak out. Because that's it's the only, oh, it's the, because it's the only it. religion that acts like the mafia that will kill you. That, if you say the wrong true. thing, draw the wrong picture, or write the wrong book. So, so how about the more than a billion those, people who are fanatical, who don't punch well, women, who just want to go to the store? Okay, wait a second. 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 That you tune on the television and you're hearing all these nasty things against Islam. You have people on Fox News and on television stations and the media saying radical Islam. Listen, to say radical Muslims, that's correct. There are radical Muslims, there are Muslims who are extremists. Nobody says no. There are Muslims who are murderers and murderers and criminals. Nobody says no. But you cannot say radical Islam. Because Islam is not. That. We need to denounce ISIS, criminal activities, as murderers and criminals because to kill innocent people and the kind of Islam that they're trying to spread is not what Allah tells us about. And in addition to doing that, we have to also speak out on those journalists and American media who condemn Islam because of a few radical Muslims. Doesn't America have criminals? Doesn't America have murderers? But does that mean I will call America radical America? It is wrong to call America radical America because of a bunch of criminals and murderers and extremists. President Obama made it clear a couple days ago that Islam is a peaceful religion. ISIL is not Islamic. No religion condones the killing of innocents. And the vast majority of ISIL's victims have been Muslim that the United States is not and never will be at war with Islam. Islam teaches peace. Muslims the world over aspire to live with dignity and a sense of justice. And when it comes to America and Islam, there is no us and them. There is only us because millions of Muslim Americans are part of the fabric of our country. You who are Muslims can't say that. We who are Muslims should now do more than what the president has said and support what he has said in the name of Allah and prove in your actions what Allah has completed and favored us with inshallah. Your protector and my protector is Allah. <laughs>